Hey there! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be making an Ikebana inspired dried arrangement. So Ikebana is a Japanese floral design style that uses a lot of empty space and uh, longer lines to make a really minimalist look arrangement. So we're going to be making a dried one today and I will show you what you'll need then we'll get started. Okay, so here I have a small bowl of water, some parchment paper, dried flowers, a piece of air dry clay, and some scissors. The first thing we're going to do is make a base, and we're going to use the air dry clay for that. So basically you're just going to make some kind of shape. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be a circle, it could be a square, it could be a heart. Um, I'm gonna make mine kind of like elongated shape. So you can just kind of shape your clay. If you need some water to add to it to make it kind of smoother and easier to work with and go for it. This does not have to be anything fancy. Um, there are also different colors of this air dry clay. This one the box says it's supposed to be white, but it's more of a gray. When it dries, it lightens up a little bit, but I still think it looks pretty gray. Um, so mine usually turn out looking more like a rock, which is fine, but they have like a terracotta, I believe, and maybe some other colors. And you can always paint it too if you really don't like the colors. But since the main focus is going to be the flowers, these neutral colors are really fine. Fine with me anyways. All right, so I think that's pretty good. I need to go wash off my hand real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> so now you can decide kind of how you want to arrange your flowers. If you want them really tall, that's fine. You just want to make sure this pot, this base piece is heavy enough to hold them up if you have really top-heavy flowers. So I have some lavender here, and then I have some straw flowers and some eucalyptus. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the eucalyptus because I for sure want at least one of these in the back. Yeah, that one. That one's going to go right in the middle. So we're, all we're doing is sticking them in to this clay. And once it's completely hardened, they're not going to move. So as long as they're not too heavy, they should stay well in there. All right, so I'm going to take another little eucalyptus over here. I'm gonna save that one until the end because I don't know about it. And then let's see here. Got these lavenders. I kind of want those mixed throughout, but I really want the straw flower since they're so big more towards the front. So I'm actually gonna cut this one down. We'll start right here. And make sure you put it where you want because you don't want to really have to fill in a hole. If you put it somewhere and you don't like it, you can try to fill in the hole, but you may have to just kind of restart. So I'm going to try to decide where I want this before I stick it all the way in. I think I'm just going to put it right in between these two right here. Like that. And then this one white one is going to be shorter. You like there. That was a strong stem. And I want it to go to the right. Well, my right. I guess it's your guys' left. Um, anyways, this side of <laughs> the red one. I'm just gonna stick it in like that. And then this one, it's gonna be a little bit shorter also. It's gonna go on the other side of the red maroon straw flower. 
I like doing varying heights just because it makes it look more natural. Things in the wild don't grow, you know, at the same height like that. So there's that one. Now we're going to add in some of this lavender. It smells so good. And I think I'm going to do a longer one back here. So that might be long enough. Right about there. Maybe I'll put this one over here. I think it's a little too short for that side. I want to kind of like stick it right in there. Perfect. Now, let's see if I cannot cut this one too short. We'll go right about here. Okay, that should be good. Take all these off. Okay, and this one's gonna go in the back, like right there. And then I have one more little lavender. It's gonna go right here in the front, in the middle. And then we'll see how it's looking. A little bit shorter. There. I still have these leaves left, so I feel like I wore the wrong shirt for this. It looks like it's really hard to tell what's going on here. So let me stick it like that. You guys can see a little better. Should I put it there? Yeah, I think I'm going to put this leaf back here like this. So I'm just going to stick it in. There we go. Okay, so there's how it looks without a really crazy shirt behind it. <laughs> That looks much easier to see what's going on. Um, you can see I just stuck them all into the clay right there, arranged how I wanted. And now we just have to let it dry. Usually it takes about 24 hours. Um, I would try to avoid moving it too much if you can, just so that they don't fall out or get loose in that clay. But other than that, this project is super, super cute. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. It is super quick to make these and super easy. And they look really good on just like a little shelf or on a desk. They can even be kind of used as a paperweight. Really good gifts as well. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon for our next project. Bye guys.